hello students in the previous video i have explained sums of 13b from class 9 textbook and today i am doing 13c before doing sums of 13c let me give the formula whatever is required for doing sums of 13c and here we need cylinder and cone now what is a cylinder a solid which is generated by revolution of a rectangle about one of its sides is called a right circular cylinder this is cylindrical in shape here you can see this is circular top also circular and here this surface is curved this type of solid figures are called cylinders now when you consider one cylinder this part is the radius or radius of the base and this is the height if you want to find the total surface area then we have to consider the top base and the curved surface for the curved surface area is 2 pi r h for the top it is pi r square here also it is pi r square so pi r square plus pi r square it will be 2 pi r square and for the curved surface 2 pi r h therefore total surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h for the curved surface and for the top and base it is 2 pi r square if i take 2 pi r common then h plus r so this is the formula for total surface area of a cylinder if you consider only the curved surface that means without considering top and base then formula is 2 pi r h and if you want to find the volume of this cylinder then it will be pi r square h now let me discuss about cone what is a cone a right circular cone is a solid generated by a revolving line segment which passes through a fixed point and making a constant angle with the fixed line those solids are called a right circular cone here you can see this is a cone this is the base which is circular and this is the height of this length starting from this point up to this much this length is called the slant height which is represented by l so here radius is r height is h and this part which is called slant height this type of figures are called cones you have seen this in birthday caps even in ice cream cones similar structures are there so in case of a cone base will be circular and there will be one vertex now the curved surface area of this type of figure is pi r l where l is the slant height if you want to find the total surface area for the curved surface for this part it is pi r l and for the base it is pi r square so pi r l plus pi r square if you take pi r common then l plus r so this is the total surface area of a cone and the volume of the cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h we know pi r square h is the volume of the cylinder so it will be one third of the volume of the cylinder so these formulas you have to remember sometimes we have to calculate l if you want to calculate l then we have to use this relation l square is h square plus r square this relation we obtain from pythagoras theorem because here l h and r here angle is 90 degree so l square will be h square plus r square with these formulas now we can start sums of 13 c in 13 c first question is Find the curved surface area of a right circular cylinder of height 21 cm and base radius 5 cm. Here height represented by symbol h is 21 cm. So this is height. This radius is 5 cm and we have to find the curved surface area. We know curved surface area of a cylinder it is 2 pi r h. So 2 pi is 22 by 7. Radius given in the question 5 and height is 21. 7 and 21 can be cancelled so we will get 3 now 3 into 5 15 15 to 30 13 to 22 660 centimeter square therefore curved surface area of the cylinder is 660 centimeter square question number 2 it is given the diameter of a cylinder is 28 centimeter and its height is 40 centimeter find the curved surface area and the total surface area of the cylinder now in this figure this is the diameter which is 28 centimeter since diameter is 28 and radius is half of diameter so radius r will be 28 by 2 which will give 14 centimeter here height is 40 centimeter now if you want to find the curved surface area formula is 2 pi r h so 2 pi is 22 by 7 radius is 40 into height is 40 now 7 2 ja 14 2 into 22 it will give 44 2 into 40 it will be 80 80 into 44 it will give 3520 centimeter square therefore curved surface area of this cylinder is 3520 centimeter square 
For total surface area of the cylinder, formula is 2 pi r h plus r. If you want, you can the total surface area of cylinder is 2 pi r h plus r. So 2 pi is 22 by 7 into radius is 14, height is 40 plus radius is 14. 7 and 14 can be cancelled, it will be 2. So 2 into 22 into 2, which will give 88 and here 40 plus 14 is 54. If we multiply, it will be 4752 centimeter square. Therefore, cup surface area of the cylinder is 3520 centimeter square and the total surface area of the cylinder is 4752 centimeter square. Question number 3. A solid cylinder has total surface area of 462 centimeter square. Its curved surface area is one third of its total surface area. Find the radius and height of the cylinder. Suppose this is the cylinder whose radius is r and height is h. So we can write let radius be r, height be h and as given in the question total surface area of this cylinder is 462 centimeter square. Now as given in the question curved surface area of the cylinder is one third of the total surface area. So one third of total surface area it is given 462. So one third into 462 if you cancel 462 by 3 it will give 154 centimeter square. Therefore, curved surface area is 154 centimeter square. We know curved surface area formula is 2 pi r h. This will be 154. Let it be equation number 1. Now, here 2 pi is 22 by 7. Radius is r, height is h because both are unknown equals to 154. So, r into h will be 154. This 7 will go in the numerator and 2 and 22 will come in the denominator. So if you cancel 154 by 22, it will be 7. So it will be 7 into 7, 49 by 2. So R H equal to 49 by 2. Let it be equation number 2. Total surface area of the cylinder is 462. And total surface area means curved surface area plus surface area of the two faces which are circular. Now curved surface area that is 2 pi R H already we got 154. So from equation 1 we can write 154 plus 2 pi is 22 by 7 into r square is 462. So 2 into 22, 44 by 7 r square, it will be 462 minus 154. So 44 by 7 r square equals to 462 minus 154, which will give 308. So r square equals to 308 into 7 by 44. Now 44, 7 ja 308. So R square will be 7 into 7, 7 square, if I cancel, this will give 7. So 7 into 7, 7 square. So R square is 7 square means R equal to 7 centimeter. Now we got R H equal to 49 by 2. So if we replace R here by 7, then I am going to get R H equal to 49 by 2. So R is 7, 7 H is 49 by 2. So H will be 49 by 2 into 7. This 7 will come here. 7, 7, 49. So, height is 7 by 2. Therefore, height of the cylinder is 3.5 centimeter. Therefore, radius of the cylinder is 7 centimeter and height is 3.5 centimeter. In question number 4, it is given, find the ratio between the total surface area of a cylinder to its curved surface area given that its height and radius are 7.5 centimeter and 3.5 centimeter respectively. Now as given in the question, radius R is 3.5 cm, height H is 7.5 cm. Now we have to find the ratio between the total surface area of cylinder by curved surface area of cylinder. We know total surface area of cylinder is 2 pi R H plus R and curved surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi R H. Now here 2 pi and 2 pi can be cancelled. R and R also can be cancelled. So we are left with H plus R by H. Here h is 7.5, radius is 3.5 divided by height, height is 7.5. 7.5 plus 3.5 which will give 11 by 7.5. Since it is in decimal multiply by 2, it will be 11 to the 22 and 7.5 to the 15. Therefore required ratio is 22 is to 15. Now question number 5 is, the total surface area of a hollow metal cylinder open at both ends of external radius 8 cm and height 10 cm is 338 pi cm square. Taking R to be the inner radius, obtain an equation in R 
and use it to obtain the thickness of the metal in the cylinder. Suppose this is the hollow metal cylinder whose internal radius we have taken R and external radius is capital R. As given in the question, here radius is 8 cm and height is 10 cm. First, we have to frame one equation taking R as the variable and then we have to find the thickness of this metal sheet. Now, it is given the total surface area of the total surface area of hollow cylinder hollow cylinder it is given as 338 pi centimeter square for the external surface surface area is 2 pi r h for the internal surface for the inner part radius is smaller so total surface area will be 2 pi smaller h now top view of this figure is this here you can see two concentric circles, bigger one of radius r and smaller one is of radius smaller. So area of this shaded part will be pi capital R square minus pi small r square because pi r square is the area of a circle. So bigger circle minus smaller circle, this is the area. Since top surface and bottom both we have to consider, so we have to write 2, this is equals to 338 pi. Now, 2 pi h, we can take common from this 2, it will be r plus small r plus, from here also I can take pi common, so it will be 2 pi r square minus r square is 338 pi. Again, 2 pi can be taken common, if I take 2 pi common, then we are left with h r plus small r plus r square minus small r square this is equals to 338 pi now 2 pi instead of h we can write 10 capital r we know it is 8 plus small r plus 8 square minus small r square equals to 338 pi 10 into 8 it will be 80 plus 10 into r 10 r plus 8 square is 64 minus r square equals to 338 pi divided by this 2 pi we can write here pi and pi will cancel so it will be minus r square plus 10 r 80 plus 64 it will give 144 equals to 338 by 2 it will be 169 if i transfer this 169 in the other side it will be minus r square plus 10 r plus 144 minus 169 equals to 0. This can be written as minus r square plus 10 r minus 25 equals to 0. Since coefficient of r square is negative, if I multiply throughout by minus 1, it will be r square minus 10 r plus 25 equals to 0. So this is the quadratic equation containing r. Now if I solve this one, then it will be r square minus 5 plus 5 r plus 25 equals to 0. We have to do middle term factorization. Here 5 plus 5 10, 5 5 the 25. So it will be r square minus 5 r plus minus minus 5 r plus 25 equals to 0. From first two I can take r common. It will be r minus 5. From last two I can take minus 5 common. It will be r minus 5 equals to 0 so r minus 5 r minus 5 equals to 0 since both are same so we can write r minus 5 therefore r minus 5 equals to 0 r equals to 5 since we have to find thickness and this thickness will be capital r minus small r therefore thickness it will be capital r minus small r and capital r we know it is given 8 minus 5 which will give 3 cm. Therefore, thickness of the metal in the cylinder is 3 cm, which is the required answer. Question number 6. The diameter of roller 1.5 meter long is 84 cm. If it takes 100 revolutions to level a playground, find the cost of leveling this ground at the rate of 50 pesa per square meter. Height is 1.5 meter. 
if you want to convert this meter to centimeter, we have to multiply by 100 because 1 meter is 100 centimeter. So 1.5 into 100 will give 150 centimeter. Again, it is given that diameter is 84 centimeter. So radius R will be diameter by 2. Diameter is 84. So 84 by 2 will be 42 centimeter. Since while rolling, only this curved surface is required. These two faces are not required. So we have to calculate the curved surface area of the roller which is 2 pi r h, so 2 pi, pi is 22 by 7, into radius, we got 42 into 150, 6, 7 is 42, so 44 into 6 into 150 is 900, so it will be 39600 centimeter square. Now we know 100 centimeter equal to 1 meter, if we square both sides, then it will be 10,000 centimeter square is 1 meter square, so if we divide by 10,000, it will be in meter square. So 39600 divided by 10,000 which will give 3.96 meter square. Therefore, curved surface area of the roller is 3.96 meter square. In one revolution, roller is going to cover 3.96 meter square. So we can write area leveled in one revolution is 3.96 meter square. Therefore, area leveled in 100 revolution we have to multiply by 100 it will become 396 meter square. Cost of leveling 1 meter square is 50 paisa. So in rupees it will be 50 by 100, so it is 1 by 2. Therefore cost of leveling 396 meter square, it will be rupees half into 396. 396 divided by 2, it will be 198. Therefore cost of leveling the ground is rupees 198. Yes, this is the last sum from this exercise, so that's all for today. In the next video I am going to start sums of 13D. Till then bye bye, take care and wait for next part.